guys doing? I hope you're gonna have an awesome day today. Deck Decker here. So I just recently just watched uh, Ahsoka season one, episode seven. That was actually a banger. Okay, so everyone's reunited. I can tell you that for fact matters. Now what happened is that this was actually pretty interesting, and I thoroughly did enjoy this episode. Okay, okay. Hayden Christian is back. Now I'm thinking this. Hayden Christian will be in here. A little more often because he wasn't fully in here like he was in the uh, episode 5 he wasn't like fully in his body figure he was only in a hologram form a training hologram form not one of those small little messenger holograms that are like uh, three feet tall I'm talking about a full body form hol hologram form Ahsoka had him on a hologram form because it was he was in his old uh, Clone Wars outfit, General Skywalker. He was in his old Clone Wars outfit. And he sent her training monologues, video monologues, when she was only a Padawan. And Soka saved all those video monologues and she kept them in a safe place. And I guess she's going to keep on re-watching these training monologues from Anakin, her master, basically. And, oh yeah, I got a little fun fact. Uh, Dave Filoni actually said to George Lucas, basically, so we're going to have Anakin in the Clone Wars. This is like a little fun fact. Dave didn't uh, really want Anakin to have a pad one, like training a pad one. But George Lucas said, Anakin does have a pad one. Anything that goes with George Lucas says, you got to go with the man. The man is like, he, just a brilliant amazing idealist i could say that all right back to the recap sorry i keep getting off track i was watching the credit scenes and stuff so we saw soka um let me actually pull this up for you guys real <laughs> quick so soka actually rolled up pulled up inside the well she was at the graveyard basically and let's just say that thrawn he had um, some detonators or booby traps, and the Wells, they weren't having it or anything at all. So, what the Wells were doing basically is that uh, they're like, alright, I'm getting out of here. Like, we're not going to stay in these booby traps, these like, little bombs blowing up near us. So, Ahsoka, luckily, she drove out of the Wells' mouth just in time. She had to drive inside um, her Wave Rider. Uh, her, her wave rider, she had to drive inside the graveyard because Thrawn's uh, scout troops, they are behind Ahsoka shooting at her too when she passed the detonators, the, I guess you could say booby traps, and uh, orbiting around the bloody uh, dead planet that's isolated. So anyways, other than that, Thrawn is trying to figure out her exact location because he pulled back the fighter and said, just stop, bring in the sisters. The sisters, the three witches we were talking about. So he wanted the three witches to actually try to find Ahsoka where she's at. Because this is basically the planet right here. And Ahsoka is in the middle of the debris, the graveyard where all the bones are at. She needs to travel all the way to the planet to find Sabine. Once she finds Sabine, now the thing is that uh, how... She actually finds out her location, like her and Sabine's uh, long locks friend. They're actually traveling in the pack. They're traveling in the pack with, uh, I guess you could say, uh, <laughs> uh, he made some new friends. Yes. Uh, the new friends that he made was actually pretty interesting. Ezra, those were the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to call them. They're the size of like Yoda and they have like rocks on their backs like I guess you could, uh, call them like colonial crafts. Yeah, <laughs> I'm calling them colonial crafts because that's what basically they were Okay, so They're traveling and so the two mercenaries Shin and Balin uh, Were hot on their tracks along with the Raiders. The Raiders were following along Shin and Balin. So Balin told uh, Shin and the Raiders go after him, kill Ezra, and kill Sabine because it was Thrawn's orders. Thrawn won that. And Shin said, You're not coming with me. He said, I have my own uh, 
basically my own goal I want to do this is your own goal like you're the straight head target I point and you shoot basically <laughs> that that's what he said to her and so he agreed to her and she, she said okay so Ahsoka has a strong bond with well Sabine and she tracked down Sabine by using the force now Thrawn is intimidated by Ahsoka because he knows Ahsoka Tano is Anakin's like apprentice basically Anakin Skywalker was her master he said he they have to be very very careful with Ahsoka because she is just like her master unpredictable and very powerful yeah even Thrawn is intimidated by him I guess he was also intimidated by Anakin Skywalker back in the Rebels too and stuff it's amazing and exciting just to see Thrawn actually having like chills up through his blue spine I don't know if the man has a blue spine or not, but yeah, so let's put it that way. So eventually she travels in, uh, to the planet because he sends out starfighters and they end up, three sisters tracked up her location. The starfighters come out and they end up blasting, uh, I guess you could say Ahsoka out of her little hiding spot where she was. She tracked on the beam and let's just say that they went she went exactly on a point where... Ezra and Sabine were actually being um, uh, attacked by Shin and the Raiders. Yeah, but she saved the day. Well, technically, when she arrived, Thrawn sent out some clone scouts, clone scouts, clone ships, so that they could take out, uh, help out the mercenaries. Because Thrawn said, "Where's Balin at?" Balin was fighting Ahsoka. Ahsoka jumped out for ship. <laughs> she started fighting Balin. So, she could have killed Balin, she could have killed him easily, but she didn't. She stole his ride. She stole his wolf creature. <laughs> she stole his ride. So basically, uh, throughout all this dust after they were fighting, uh, in the, I guess you could say when the shooting started beginning, they hit the floor. Like, really, they literally hit the floor and dirt was like everywhere all up in Balin's face. And she stole his right, and now he has a walking foot. He didn't go to the main spot where his apprentice was, like, fighting Sabim and Ezra. Ezra didn't want to use the lightsaber. He gave the lightsaber to Sabim, and I guess it's now of hers. He, she owns it, but he's actually pretty well good with the Force. He said that he doesn't need weapons. He just uses, literally, the Force. Force pushes. And he grabs uh, one of the clone troopers' uh, blasters, and that's his weapon, I guess. His go-to weapon is the Force. I guess he's force sensitive. that's what I could say. So other than that, well, let's just say that Ezra and also Sabine have a fight with Shin. And that fight was extraordinary and pretty interesting for the Tekken. Thrawn notices that Balin isn't there because obviously he faced Ahsoka. Thrawn realizes that Ahsoka is on the battlefield and he's losing clone troopers, so he's uh, uh, thinking this. Pull out the clones, send them back, send them back to the ship. And the witch said, why exactly are you doing that? We have them on the ground, we have them surrounded, we could destroy them right now. And Thrawn said, this is Ahsoka's win, but she has lost time. Because the main goal is, he's still transporting his goods on the ship and he's about to actually leave the isolated dead planet where he's been like stranded for all these millennium, all these years. So he's about to leave, Ahsoka doesn't even know it though. Uh, she doesn't even know he's actually there. She doesn't know he was actually isolated for a long time on this dead planet. This dead planet is like purgatory, I could tell you that. Purgatory. You can't escape this planet, basically. But, Dawn is about to escape the planet. Ahsoka, it, she has her ship regardless, and after she makes it on the battlefield and sees Shin, let's just say that the Raiders and the clones, they left. Because when Thrawn said call them back, Thrawn sent an emergency Beacon emergency come on a droid and droid basically alert the clone say it's time to go We gotta go back to the main Imperial ship So when they went back to the main Imperial ship 
Ahsoka was, well, she gave uh, she gave Shin a chance. When she gave Shin a chance, meaning basically she said, hand over your lightsaber, I can help you. Basically, she was trying to persuade her to like come to the light side. She didn't want to hold Shin as a prisoner or anything like that. She wanted to help her out. But Shin just ran off with the rest of the clone troopers and raiders. But I have a feeling that... They're expendable and Thrawn, Thrawn is really mad at Balin because Balin actually led the whole battalion and the plan and basically I think Thrawn is actually going to leave Shin and Balin behind on the planet and Shin and Balin, well, where are they going to go? Oh yeah, go back to Ahsoka and be desperately seeking help, can you take us off this planet? answer will be probably like no but hopefully we'll get more insight on Balin's past because we only got a little interesting story from him he was there when the Jedi Temple burned in Revenge of the Sith chapter 3 he was there he was also there in the Clone Wars as a Jedi Master but I wonder who his Padawan was at the time that's a big question. And so yeah, that was uh, basically an awesome episode, I guess. Uh, I can admit it, I liked it. We're going to see a lot more of Anakin, but mostly in uh, video prologues, meaning like in hologram training sessions, we're going to see him. Who knows, we may even see him like in person again. If we see him in person again, it will be pretty awesome, but most likely uh, it'll be in small cameo clips. We'll be able to see him every now and then as General Skywalker. Uh, that, okay, I would give this episode. I'm glad they're all back together now. Everyone, all of them. Especially Ezra, he's back. He's reunited with Ahsoka Tano as well. So I'm going to give this episode a good 8 out of 10. Yeah, I would give it a good 8 out of 10. I always suggest you guys check that out and. It was actually amazing and interesting just seeing Anakin back in his Clone Wars outfit and not inside his Jedi robes. Because you could tell the total difference between the two. Um, other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new, subscribe to always, and may the Force be with you always.